What is good everybody, Richie here, and welcome back to the channel. Before we dive right into things, be sure to smash that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you're somebody new, and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my shenanigans here on the channel. And yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So the year 2022 has completely faded away. And I'm honestly excited that it has. It was pretty much a triumphant year for me. There's a lot of things that I did. And there is a lot of things that I achieved. There was many monumental moments for me. A lot of eye-opening experiences for me. 2022 is a year. I would say that 2022 is the year that I essentially found myself and who I am. And it forever will go down in history as my favorite fucking year of all time. I mean... Off the bat, just, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, like, what did, what did I do? I hit a 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I met a lot of incredible people that I would not have if I didn't stay on the path that I chose early in 2021. I... I got up many times for to go on for runs on the beach at 4 a.m. with my buddy Kent. Kent, if you're watching this video, bro, I fucking love you. And you are the man. And you are essentially one of the reasons why I continue to do half of the fucking crazy shit that I do. Like, I have nothing but the absolute utmost respect for you, dude. Like, you are my bet, like one of my best pals. Um, I, I got my very first apartment by myself. I've been living, you know, on and off, uh, with roommates for basically 15 years. And this is the very first time that I've ever had my own place. And it's so, man, it's so nice to have the peace of mind. It just, nothing comes close to it. You just, you can't. You cannot understate what it means to have your own fortress of solitude. And <laughs> I, I'm so grateful for it. Um I wrote my very first uh I wrote I wrote my very first screenplay uh with my buddy Chris Turner. So if you're watching this, bro, I'm fucking proud of us, dude. We killed it. Uh we made it. We we got tapped out of the con competition after uh, fit over, I want to say, I think it was 50,000 people sent in screenplays. And my buddy Chris and I got tapped out at around 50,000. So we made it to like essentially the semifinals if you it, it, like if you put it into perspective like we 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 went far we went fucking ham like i'm so chris you're probably not going to see this video bro but i'm so i'm so fucking proud of our accomplishment yeah we lost but who gives a shit we fucking we went hard and that's all that matters our screenplay and our you know we're going to turn it into a book and that's what matters um my buddy Taylor, uh, over on his channel Deftonic, uh, if you're, you know, chances are if you watch me, you watch him too. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Taylor, you, you, you fucking motivate me all the time. Yes, I realize that I'm not live streaming. I know that I have a lot more watch time that I need to get before I get into the YouTube Partner Program. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind this year, man. I'm gonna do it. I know I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to settle down. I'm going to get internet so that I could stream, so that I could live stream on a regular basis. It's just, you know, I'm just glad that I got my apartment. I took care of the the main part first. Um, so Taylor, bro, 
much love and respect to you, like for real. Um, and just everybody that I work with at my job, I love all you guys. Like you guys, all of you have become, you know, all of you have become essentially like family to me. You guys are great. I love working with you guys. I love getting my, I love getting my shit kicked in every night. So, um, uh, the guys upstairs in uh, in the main restaurant, this one's for you. Eric, um, Danny Boy's no longer with us. Blake, Taylor, Hannah, um, Stefan. All you fucking guys, dude. I, I love you all. And then, you know, uh, Justin, my sous chef, my, my other chef, Tom. You guys are all fucking great. You pr no, Probably none of you fuckers are going to see this video, but it's okay. I, I literally don't care. Um, I have the utmost respect for you guys, and the fact that we get our shit kicked in on a regular basis, actually, it motivates me even more. It makes me want to continue to get my ass kicked, you know? It doesn't bother me. I like, I enjoy suffering. Um, so yeah, I just want to say, uh, to everybody that I work with, if I've ever said hello to you, or I've ever said hi to you, or ever went out of, you know, if we ever crossed paths and I said, hi, you know, like, um, I recognize you, you're, you're one of my own. And I just, you know, whatever, you guys are all great. I fucking read five books this year. They were all great. Uh, I read the subtle art of not giving a fuck by Mark Manson. I read atomic habits by James clear. I read endure by Cameron Haynes. I read The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, I think his name is. I hope I got that right. Don Miguel Ruiz. And there was another book I read. It's escaping me. Oh, I know I read another book. That's four. There's another one. I know I read another one, but it doesn't matter. I read a lot of books this year. And in those books, I found out a lot about myself. And I continue to. I'm going to probably read a thousand more books it doesn't matter because it's it's what makes me happy i like to read reading improves my mind and my thoughts and it keeps me centered and balanced um i love reading books um 2022 wasn't all that great uh it w it was it's one of, it's one of my favorite years probably of all time there was some down parts uh but I've also, I also don't look at it as a down part anymore. My girl, uh, my ex girlfriend and I of almost a year and a half split up. Uh, it is what it is. And strangely enough, I'm not, I'm not bothered by it. And I thought that I would be, but I have learned so much about myself through us through us separating and through being on my own that I'm just happier on my own. I'm, you can't fucking fake this shit, dude. I'm, you know, it's weird to me because over the years I have just, nothing bothers me anymore. And I'll tell you a quick story why. So, Back in 2016, I met a girl who I dated for three and a half years. And she left me for a dude that had no job, no car, and lived at home with his fucking mom. And she made me shake this dude's hand when they had been fucking for God knows how long. And you know what? When you find out that information, when you, when that hit, shit hits you, there's nothing regarding like the dating life. There is not a single thing on God's green earth as far as dating goes that could ever hurt me after that. Like I had, I had the fucking lowest of the low. A girl that I loved more than anything on planet Earth 
did me the absolute dirtiest. And you know what? Whatever, dude. I learned from it. And if she hadn't done that to me, I probably wouldn't be at my current job living this life that I'm living now. So honestly, I don't... Bro, I don't know if you're I don't know if she's ever gonna see this. Like Rebecca, if you're out there and you're listening, this one's for you, dude. Like I'm glad you did what you did. It doesn't bother me. I'm good at either way. And so yeah. So when me and my most recent girlfriend split up, it's just it is what it is. It doesn't bother me. I'm good. Life is good. Life goes on. And, wow, let me get some water here. Recollect my thoughts. Richard Dempsey, I don't know if you're going to see this, man, but I just want you to know that I love you and I care about you. And if it wasn't for all of our late night talks, I don't know if I would be so mentally balanced, I think. And I just want to say I'm absolutely grateful for you, dude. You are part of my rock. Um, And... Ultimately, I have to continue to I have to continue to put my faith and my trust in God that I am on the right path and I'm going to continue to be on the right path. There's it's not much more else that I could say. I look forward to 2023 and I'm going to continue to do exactly what I set out to do 3 years ago, and that is to not wind up a fucking loser. And to make my dad proud. But yeah. So anyways guys that's the video. Thank you again so much for listening and watching. If you like my video and you like my rants. And you seem to like what I'm doing. Why not subscribe it's free. Who fucking cares. Anyway I love all y'all. See ya. Bye.